Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm so excited to be filming Vlogtober content. I have been kicking my butt making sure that I film Vlogtober content for you and I hope you guys are enjoying it as we go. But um, sometimes, you know, I'm trying to keep it light. You know, sometimes I, I want us to keep it light, fun, flirty, let's joke around, let's have a good laugh. Then sometimes I want to keep it serious, I want to bring it down a bit. You do know that this channel is also very heavy on mental health and motivating and empowering and uh, vlogs and all of that. But today, I noticed the other day that here and there I would get messages that would say I'm new to your channel and I'm really enjoying your channel and all of that and it just took me back to well I just don't know where my phone is oh it's over there it just took me back to how I used to love doing tag videos right where I would answer questions I think they are great in terms of getting to know someone better but not only knowing them like where do you live who are you how old are you yada 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 not really in that instance but actually knowing them in the sense that you know their character and their personality what they like what's their favorite food that kind of thing so a little bit more than what you typically know and uh, I found a tag and I was like, these questions seem interesting. Let's go for it, let's answer them. But I'm gonna need to get my phone first, so give me a sec. Okay. Okay. So this is the little bit of everything tag. I will link it down below, and if you're a creator and you wanna do it, and you want us to get to know you a little bit more, please do. Like, like copy, guys. Hey, copy, man. Even me, I'm copying with this tag. But I think this would be great for you guys to get to know me a little bit more outside of the generic stuff that you already know. Okay, so let's get into the video, okay? The first one says, do you keep up with the Kardashians? Absolutely not. No. Nope. Nope. Nowhere. I don't keep up with the, I just hear what I hear or see what I see on, 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 online. But do I make it a point to watch their shows and to, no. I used to, I used to, let me not lie. Like I, I used to watch their shows and I used to enjoy them quite a lot and all of that. But um, just after a while, it kind of fell off. Like I started finding other things interesting and um, watching other types of reality shows and not necessarily the Kardashians. So I'm not too, no, I'm not too crazy about them now, no. If you could have an old muscle car, which one would you choose? Definitely a Mustang. I'm not quite sure which one, um, but I'll put pictures here, but I've always been fans fans i've always been the biggest fan of mustang cars i feel like they are old american muscle and i love them i absolutely love them so i'll put pictures of the ones that i oof, that i have seen over the years where i'm just like i would love to have that a vintage that in my garage one day mm, mm. do you curse like a sailor when the camera isn't rolling yeah but I curse, I don't, I don't curse like a sailor. I don't think I'm that bad, but I do use curse words. Um, I use them, not, not too often, but I, but I do. When I'm mad or anything, I use them quite a lot more. But um, just generally, no. I'll just, you know, if I, if I accidentally drop something, I'll use the S-H-I-T. Uh, or what, yeah, but not, not crazy. Not like a sailor, not crazy. If your significant other gave you a whole pass, who would you use it on? My significant other would never give me a whole pass. But if he did, if he did, I would use it on, uh, is it Ghost from Power? Yo, 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 yo. Shame. I would use it on Ghost because it's a shame to be that good looking and wow. Wow, ne? But then I would also use it on... Denzel Washington's son. I would use it on, on, on him. And then a lady that I would use it on. Oof. Which lady could get it for me? There's this lady in the Matrix Revolutions. She, she does something. I'll put up her picture. Yo, yo, that lady's beautiful. That lady, that lady could get it. That lady could get it, yeah. If I ever had a whole pass, I'd use it on, on those people. On those people. I, I, ladies, not so much. I would really love it if Janet Jackson became my, like, sugar mama. Man, 
I feel like she is stunning. I feel like she's beautiful. And then she's got the sweet boy. There's something so endearing about her. There's something so warm about her. I love her. Um, what is your go-to drink at Starbucks? I don't go to Starbucks a lot. In fact, I go more so to Seattle than I do to Starbucks. But if I find myself in a mall with Starbucks, in the heat, because it's hot now, I'd always get a cold brew with milk. I'd always get a cold brew with milk, preferably oat milk with a splash of maybe a little bit of vanilla syrup. Sometimes if I'm feeling kind of exciting, I'll go with caramel syrup, but that's typically what I have. Uh, cold brew, oat milk with a splash of syrup, and um, I don't like anything too sweet. And then in the winter time, I really just have like a, a vanilla latte. If I catch myself at... At Starbucks, I'll have a vanilla latte and keep it moving. That's, that's it. That's it. Is your current hair color your real color? This here, here, down here, the black. Yes, that's my real color. And then up here is like a fade of the, um, the previous dye that I had. And I'm thinking of cutting my hair down a little bit and going back to this color. But I'm still thinking about, I'm still thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. Um, if you could swap bodies with someone, who would you be and why? Michal. Michelle, just for a day. I want Michelle's body for a day. And I would do, yay, 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 yay. I would wear whatever I want to wear. I would shoot, okay? I would do shoots in bikinis and this and this. And then I would pose like her. You know, she does the, you know, she does the, you know, in her sexy body. You know, man, Michelle's body is fire. Definitely, Michelle's body. If you, have you read Fifty Shades of Grey? If so, what did you think? I read Fifty Shades of Grey and Fifty Shades Darker. I didn't read the third one. Um, at the time when I was reading it, I was like, wow, it's, it's a lot. It made me feel things that I, I never felt, you know? I read it all the way, way back then when it came out. Uh, and I thought it was very, very heavy on the smut and the, the heat. Very heavy. Um, but over the years, having watched the movies and revisiting some of the books a little bit, some passages from the books, uh, I've seen how actually problematic Fifty Shades of Grey is. But it's a story for another day. Okay? Story for another day. Do you crack your knuckles? I used to until my mother told me that um, when you get older and if, if I get arthritis, it's going to be really heavy on my knuckles, so I should stop. It could be a lie. It could be the truth, but she told me to stop doing it. But I used to do it quite a lot. I'd be like, I'd sit and be like, <coughs> but I, I don't do it anymore. No, nope. no. Um, have you accidentally text messaged someone something you were supposed to be sending to your special somebody? No, I never make that mistake. <laughs> nope, like a like a like a nude or a or something very frisky or risque. No, I it always goes to the person of whom it is intended. That's terrible English. But it always goes to the one which it's intended for. And it, it reaches him. Um, and yes, I sent a very dirty message last weekend. I sent a very inappropriate message because I knew he was out and having a good time. And I sent him, a, and he was with people. And I sent him a very inappropriate message to kind of flush him up and heat him up a little bit. And he did. He flushed up and he heated up a little bit. <laughs> have you ever created a fake profile to keep to creep on someone no i haven't it's so strange but i really haven't i've um have i i've never i've never like i know people take it to the max where they'll pull in pictures and this and this and follow all these people and literally do their homework and their assignments and make it look like a real profile i've never done it never done it i just feel like why I've, I've never done it. What is your weakness? Cookies or pastries? Definitely pastries. Danish? Croissant? Danish? Um, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my girl. Oh my girl. Just, yeah. That's one of the big reasons why I don't go to Paul as much. Because there's pastries galore in Paul. And I'm just like... <laughs> so, No. <laughs> It's a weakness. Um, what do you love about yourself? I don't know. I, as cliche as it sounds, I think I love my, the heart that I have for other people. Like the, the empathy. I know that I'm an empath and 
I'm quite quite you know I'm quite caring and I, I feel bad for people and I feel sad and I'm constantly talking to friends or family members and being like you really mean don't do that talk to her talk to him don't do that blah blah so yeah but a lot of the time it's often taken for weakness and I hate that sometimes but it's one of the things that I love about myself like I love love and I love loving on people and being em empathetic towards others I don't know I don't know, but I love that about myself. I feel like it distinguishes me quite a lot, especially within a family of very hard, tough people. And then you just have soppy, soft old me. And I love that for me. I love it. Um, <laughs> tell us a few things about you that people would be surprised to know. I'm a big lover of am animation. Emanation. <laughs> I'm a big lover of animation. So big that, and like kitty movies, not necessarily you know anime or whatever no no, no. kitty movies like the minions like super pets like turning red like i literally go to the movies and i plant myself in between seats where there'll be children on either side of me because i love to hear children laugh and i love to hear how they interact with the movie but i actually enjoy the movies myself my 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 favorite one recently um are the two that we we've watched about four or five recently um, and Super Pets is one of my favorite ones. I absolutely loved it. And the one with the, with the thieves, the fox and the snake and the spider. And yeah, I loved it. I'll put them here so you can see which ones. I absolutely love animation. That's one thing. Um, another thing that people don't know, I'm not a fan of baking. I'm really bad at baking and I'm not a fan. I will try things out, but... I don't even have like measuring cups and all the things that people use when they're baking and all of that because I never bake. Like if I want something, I'll buy it. If I want a scone, I'll buy it. Sometimes I'll make them in the house. Sometimes they'll come out right. Sometimes they'll come out terribly. Um, so I, and I don't see myself ever picking up baking, like a love for baking. Um, and you know how everybody would like to say, Oh, I'd love to go to New York one day. I'm not, I'm not crazy on New York. It's just, it's one of the, it's like, I'm not, I'm just not. Okay. I'm just not. Okay. Um, heels or flat flats, heels or flats. For me, it's always comfort over discomfort. So it'll always be flats, flats. I do enjoy a good heel every now and again when I want to feel sexy, when I want to feel holder, when I want to feel whatever. But a lot of the time, I'm in flats and I'm quite comfortable in them. Quite comfortable. Um, if you could do anything for one day and money wasn't an option, how would you spend your day? Dream big. I would spend my day on the beaches of Pot Positano because I really want to go to Positano, even though Italy is so racist. Ah, yeah. But Positano is one of those really picturesque, right? Or Santorini. Or um, I would also love to just be in a Scandinavian country, sleep in a six-star hotel, have the best food. Oh, just spend the day doing different activities that are well-renowned and well-known for in that country. And uh, yeah, that it, it definitely just plant me somewhere in a part of the world that I really would love to go to. Um, yeah, yeah. Definitely. Norway is one country that I've really, really wanted to go to and maybe one day. What was the last YouTube video you watched? I think it was a Dad Challenge podcast. I absolutely love him. Yep. Literally, it's like, it's a thread of, oops, oops, oops. His name is Josh and he is hilarious. He's, he's hilarious. I just said, yeah. Anyway, um, today we're I love him. He is so funny. And he's just so funny. He's just so funny. So I watch him a lot. I watch him a lot. I just, <laughs> he's so funny. The Dad Challenge podcast. He usually comes for family vloggers and he usually comes for uh, content creators who expose their children online and he literally comes for them. He does not hold back. And I, I get it because child exploitation is a huge thing and child trafficking is a huge thing. And yeah. Do you have road rage? Absolutely not. My sister does. 
my partner does to a certain degree, but na lady, na lady, aibo, aibo. I love Black Magic Woman. I don't typically listen to rock and roll, but I love Santana, Carlos Santana, and he did a little bit of rock and roll back in the day. And Black Magic Woman is one that he did, and it's just excellent. It's a beautiful song. I don't know if it belongs to him, if it doesn't, but his rendition of it, excellent. The guitar, excellent, excellent. Who was your first kiss? Yo, it was some guy called Bongan. Mm-hmm. Bongani, I think I was in grade four or grade five, somewhere there. Do you still talk to them? No. I actually don't know where in the world he is. No, I don't. If you could have one YouTuber's closet, who would it be? Ooh, closet. Ooh. I like very... There's a girl who used to be on YouTube. She's not on YouTube much anymore. Her name is Shirley Anyang. Shirley B. Anyang. Damn it, I used to love how Shirley would dress. Um, but there's another creator who I love because she uses muted colors. Uh, Marie J. Oh my gosh! If I could have her closet, just in my size, because she's definitely smaller than me. But Marie J, she wears all the colors I love. She wears whites, she wears blacks, she wears nudes. Great. Does it? That is her closet. And I'm just like, <laughs> Every time I see her in an outfit, I'm like, you are gorgeous. Ah. Um, if you could have one YouTuber's makeup collections collection, who would it be? Jackie Aina? I'd love it all. Give it to me all. Give it to me all. Give it to me all. Um, do you have a nickname? Shorty, Gatli, Kitty Cat. I don't like Kitty Cat and we know this, so we're not going to talk about it. Okay? Uh, Kitty Cat, Shorty, Pocket Size. Um, anything to do with short. Cat, Gatli. Gatli is normally a very sentimental one because my family members use it. But Gatli is typically what is associated. It's a nickname for Gatlio. For many people. Uh, men and women. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you think is the best thing about my YouTube channel? It's raw. And it's authentic. And it's me. On a good day. On a bad day. It is... It is explains my personality in such a way that I under I, I value uh, transparency and I value being authentic and I value talking about things that I think about quite a lot, things that matter to me, things that I feel should matter to the world as well, and, and, and preaching that. Uh, but also, it's me living my best life and authentically by doing the things that I love. I'm not pretending to be someone else. I'm choosing to keep certain parts of my life away from social media and YouTube. And that's my choice and I want to keep it that way. Um, I don't use certain parts of my lives for my lives. I don't use certain parts of my life for clicks and views and likes and all of that. I, I just do me. All the time I just do me and that's it. That's it. That's what I love about it. It's raw, it's authentic and it's me, and it's been a representation of me from the moment I started it to now. To now. Um, how many cars have you had, and why? Eh? What were they? I've had about six cars, I think. I started with a Ford Fiesta when I was in school. My father got me that, and when I graduated, he changed that car, and he got me a, a Volvo C30, which I absolutely loved. Oh, I loved it. And after that, I got myself, the, the cars after that were my purchases, and I got myself a, a, a white V40, and then I got a, a, a white A5, and then a Mercedes Benz, and yeah, those are the cars that I've, those are the cars that I've had. I don't know if I should have said that, but it is what it is. It is what it is. Uh, lastly, if you could have only one lipstick for the rest of your life, which lipstick would you choose? It would be a red one. It would be a red one. Definitely feel so grand by MAC. Um, I feel like red looks exceptional. Red makes your face pop. Red makes you look amazing. And for all the other days, I can just put Vaseline on my lips. I'm fine. I'm fine. That's it. That's it. That's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped you get to know me a little bit more. The things that I like, the things that I don't. 
the things about me that you don't particularly know and if you did please do like the video subscribe to the channel click the notification bell like the video if you watched it and you enjoyed it please do and uh, i'm gonna go i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did like subscribe join the family also there is a membership space if you're keen on that definitely check my community tab scroll down you'll see all the information with regards to that and thank you so much for being here love you all i'll see you in the next video ah, sayonara